It is April 25th, and uh, as you can see, we got the soybean plot all plowed up. What we're going to do is, uh, right next to the red brush, we're going to do brassica again, uh, where it's not plowed up there, if you can see it. Uh, all that's going to be brassica on the left side there, and then we're going to do we're going to do a half acre of soybean right here over, and then we're going to screen it with standing corn. So. Carl was nice enough to get that plowed up for me. Now I'm going to disc it, lime it, fertilizer, roll it, and then we're going to seed it. So, perfect. It's already time to get things in line for next hunting season. Okay, it is the next evening, April 26th, and uh, as you can see, I got this all disc dissed up as, as good as I could. There's still quite a few big chunks of sod in there that... I'm gonna have to get taken care of uh, tomorrow, but I went over I went over each spot probably three or four times. So uh, where the sod was, it was pretty tough to get get rid of. And this fence line that had all these woodchuck holes on it, I went up and down this a whole bunch of times and uh, got that as flat as I could, as you can see. So the next step is lime. We're gonna get a big load of lime from uh, the feed mill in North Climber, and I'll go get get it with my truck and bring it over and hook it up to the tractor, and then we're gonna spread it with lime, and then we're gonna disc it again, and then uh, I'll fertilize it, and then we're gonna roll it or call the pack it, and then it'll be ready to plant. So this is gonna be fun to see how. Uh, to see how some soybeans do right here. I'm hoping it's far enough away and out in the middle that uh, the deer won't just absolutely annihilate it right away. But we're gonna do uh, 12 rows of corn out here to, to screen the road and uh, soybeans and then brassica right next to the red brush this is the plan. So we'll see. We're back everybody. It is the next day after what you seen yesterday and I got the lime spreader from uh, NYP and North Climber. Went over there and talked to Wayne and Jesse and uh, they got me a full load of lime. It's obviously more than I'm going to put on this plot. I'm going to hit the other plots while I have it here. Uh, you know, so they're ready to go this fall. But uh, we're going to go ahead and put this lime on and then we're gonna go ahead and disc it up some more and then I'm gonna fertilize it and uh, we need that soil temperature to be around 65 70 degrees before we actually well ideally 65 70 degrees before we plant the soybeans so we gotta we gotta give it a week or two before we can actually get the soybeans in the in the ground but we still have a lot of work to do to get the seed bed the way I want it you know it's still pretty pretty uh, soddy all these big chunks of sod everywhere we want to break those up more then we'll get to call the packer out here and uh you know we'll pick all the rocks out especially like that that needs to go oh there's a big old snake look at that thing 
dead. I hit it with the uh, disc yesterday, obviously, by the looks of things. But we'll let the birds come and clean that guy up. We'll go ahead and get this going and get some get some stuff spread. It's now May 11th, everybody, and uh, we're still talking about the soybean food plot, but today Carl's coming up and we're going to plant uh, 12 rows of corn to uh, screen the road from the rest of the plot. So we're going to have 12 rows of corn and then soybeans and then brassica. I had to uh, get a bunch of these big rocks out of here before Carl comes with the tractor to plant it. I've got a lot of weight on the old uh, Honda here. She's squatting right. I'm sure I got more weight on that thing than I'm supposed to. But we're putting this thing to the test. I didn't. I didn't get it just to uh, show it off. I got it to work. So we got all these rocks picked, and we're gonna get corn in here, and then I'm gonna get the call packer and uh, we're gonna fit this ground up a lot nicer for those beans the corn doesn't have to be you know perfect uh, so we'll get that corn in and then then the beans will be in by the end of the week let's go get rid of these rocks Okay, so I went over the uh, soybean portion of the food plot probably four times with a call packer. And uh, I got a nice seed bed finally. There's a golf ball. But uh, it looks good. Obviously, I'm going to pick up some more rocks and stuff. But otherwise, the next step is to fertilize it. And then I'm going to call the packer one more time. And then it's going to be ready to be seeded. This is where the corn is planted. There's 24 rows of corn planted right here. You can see each row of it. So this is all gonna be screened with corn from the road. And then it's gonna be soybean and then brassica right on the edge. So I'm gonna hit the corn with uh, fertilizer too, but I wanna show you guys this new setup I got this year. I ordered this a few months ago online and uh, it's the buyer spreader hooks right up to an ATV hitch and uh, this is how you adjust your seed rate right in there so you loosen this and then you can open it up we're probably gonna have it like let's try that and see how that does and then once you figure out right where you want it you just tighten that back up so it can't you can close it but you can't uh, 
open it up any farther just like that and i hook it right to the battery you can hook it to uh the port in there but it's just easier to hook it up with the battery you hit this and it's on and spinning so let's go ahead and get some fertilizer in there let's shut it off first go ahead and close it up just like that and then fill it up and then we'll uh give this thing a try for the first time Okay, one of the things I noticed right away, you don't want that much weight in the back to, to uh, drop your suspension, because right now, the way my seed's going, instead of uh, spraying up in the air and getting a wider swath, it's kind of, uh, since my suspension's squatting, it's making the seed go more straight into the ground. So I'm gonna wanna take all these bags out and not have nearly as much weight in the back when you're spreading. So that's the first thing I learned. Good to go. Yeah, you can see it's already spraying a much wider uh, path than it was.
Well, we got Carl here with the drill. Is that what that's called? Yeah. And uh, the soybean man. <laughs> no, he's more like the corn man. He put in 124 acres worth of corn in one day. 148. I bet you there's not many other folks that have fathered that many corn stalks in one year. <laughs> I bet you there is. Uh, <laughs> so how does this thing work? We're going to put them in the back. That one. Right in here. Just trying to set this. So it'll come down through the old house. Per acre, you want to set it 24. So I was going to set it at like 20 mm -hmm. and just stretch it. Yes, yeah, rather go thinner at first. We can go over it again yeah, if we, we need can to. Go over it again. We just got to get that. Yeah, got this stuff that goes in it. Legume uh, inoculant treats one bag of soybeans. See if we can find some in here. There's one right there. Okay, we got uh, the soybeans drilled in. I marked where it ended with that rock right there. And uh, I got the roller hooked up to the Pioneer. And we're gonna roll all this seed in 
And I think I'm gonna grab another bag tomorrow and plant another acre of it to the right. And then whatever we have left after that one, I'm gonna put in Nebraska in uh, July. So you can see we went from right here over to where the corn is. And uh, I think another bag will get us right about to that wet spot. And then we'll do uh, the edge, we can just do Braska later on. But we're gonna go ahead and roll this in and then call it good. And then uh, here in about four weeks, five weeks, a little over a month, we'll go ahead and spray it with glyphosate. We're back everybody. It is May 14th. Yesterday, Carl uh, came over and we drilled in uh, an acre of uh, soybeans right here along where the corn's gonna be. And I marked where we where we ended on both ends. So from here over, we're gonna do uh, the rest soybeans. I was able to get two more bags uh, from uh, Sinclairville Seed Company from Ken and uh, He's got all types of different seeds up there. So if you guys are interested in any seeds, I'll put a link to uh, Sinclairville Seed Company's website in the description below. He's right in Chautauqua County. I was able, I called him up this morning. He said he had two more bags left. And I said, put my name on them. And I drove out there and picked those up today. And uh, we're just gonna broadcast the rest of this plot with soybeans. And we're gonna be able to get a good comparison between drilling them in and broadcasting them. I'm going to use my new uh, spreader device here. So we have to, I uh, brought a few buckets. We got to put the seeds in and we got to mix up this, uh, whatever it's called, inoculant. And then we're going to uh, try to get the seed raid rate set just how I want it. And then we'll be off to the races here. Got a few more rocks probably need to pick up. It is gonna be super dusty. Let's go ahead and get the stuff going here.
I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up on uh, planting the soybeans. It's uh, been a little over, it's been about two weeks since we planted and uh, it literally has only rained one time since we put these soybeans in the ground and I wanted to give you an update as to how they're doing here. The corn's coming up really good. You can see, I'll go right over here in the middle where you can see the rows of corn better down there at the end. You can see them all coming up. Corn's all coming up really good. See, that's all the corn right here. And then you have uh, the soybeans here that a lot of them are just now starting to uh, crack open and whatnot. And I'll show you some over here where they got drilled into the dirt. Soybeans should be somewhat covered, so the ones that are on top that didn't really get covered, I don't think have germinated much yet, but like this right here, that's a soybean that has uh, germinated, is coming up, and then there's one right here that hasn't even started yet. I'll go ahead and shove that into the dirt a little bit. Here's a whole row of uh, soybeans that are coming up there so I've already noticed uh, where the soybeans got drilled in from what I can see are already doing a lot better than uh, where they didn't get drilled in we'll go over here to where I broadcasted them and then I just ran them over with that roller trying to get them uh, good seed to soil contact and uh, I mean, you can see, I don't see nearly the germination so far. Like there's, it's not even a soybean. You can just see a lot of the soybeans didn't get covered by much soil. Down there where the soil's wet, there's a little spring that pops out of the hillside right here. I bet that's, I bet there's some germinating in there. Let's check it out. That's a soybean coming up. There's one coming up right there. There's one, there's one. So over here where the soil's a little more wet, they're doing better for sure. There's one. There's some coming up in there, but Overall, uh, I think they're doing pretty good. Obviously, I'll keep you updated all summer long on how this is doing, and uh, I'm excited. I'm excited to uh, see how everything goes. Uh, we'll go ahead and spray this here, and probably uh, a couple more weeks, we'll take glyphosate and uh, spray it and smoke all these weeds and make sure there's no competition for corn and soybeans, but. I appreciate everybody watching, and uh, we'll keep you updated as to how everything's going here. Have a good one.